Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come to you as humbly and bold as we know how. Father God, knowing that you can do everything, but you don't fail. God, we pray that if there have been any sins and transgressions and iniquities, we pray that you forgive us of every one of them, O oh Lord God. And we plead the blood of Jesus over ourselves from the crowns of our heads to the soles of our feet, O oh Lord God. We plead the blood of Jesus over this atmosphere, O oh Lord God. We rebuke and bind every Father God, cyberspace demon, every spirit, O oh Lord God, of of uh, witchcraft, every spirit of the third eye, O oh Lord God, every spirit of intimidation, fear, rage, anger, bitterness, unforgiveness, O oh Lord God, suicide, O oh Lord God, every lust and perversion, spirit, O oh Lord God, every spirit that's not like you, every wicked imagination, O oh Lord God, every Constrict the spirit, we rebuke and bind it right now by fire of the Holy Ghost, O Lord God. And we release the Holy One angels, O Lord God, to, to be in this place. You, Lord Jesus, to be in this place, O Lord God. We pray that you saturate this place with your glory, O Lord God. We pray, Father God, that we will be drunk in your Holy Ghost, your Holy Spirit, O Lord God, that you would take over us, O Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Take over our minds, our body, souls, and our spirits, O Lord God. And that we may not leave the same way that we came, O Lord God, but you, Father God, will fill us up, O Lord God, with your Holy Spirit, O Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we pray, Father God, that you stir up every gift, O Lord God. We pray, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord God, that you would increase the discernment, O Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we pray, Father God, we pray that you touch the speaker, O Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and thank you, and amen and amen. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come to you, O oh God, praying, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Christ in Jesus' name, that if there have been any sins and transgressions and iniquities, we pray that you forgive us of them, O oh Lord God. And we rebuke the mind of the spirit of witchcraft, of the spirit of the third hour, Lord God. And we plead the blood of Jesus, O oh God, right now, from the crowns of our head to the soles of our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and as his name, O oh Lord God, we rebuke and bind every spirit, O oh Heavenly Father God, of every cyberspace demon, O oh Lord God, every spirit, O oh Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, of hindering the spirit, O oh Lord God, every spirit, O oh Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, is not like you, every wicked imagination, we rebuke and bind it right now by the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost. And we release the Holy One and angels to destroy, dismantle, deter every word curse, every time the curse that have been sent out against your people, O oh Lord God, whether it be in relationships, marriages, O oh Lord God, finances, O oh Lord God, children, O oh Lord God, O oh Heavenly Father God, over ministries, O oh Lord God, we rebuke and bind it right now, and we plead the blood of Jesus over them all, O oh Lord God. We release, O oh Lord God, fire to burn up everything that's not like you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, every tarantula spirit, every, O oh Lord God, constrictive spirit, O oh Lord God, may it bomb up, O oh Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything that's not like you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and we thank you and ask it all. Amen and amen.
aqui, ó. Ai, que é
come and testify. Oh, oh God. Testify now. Oh, God. To tell the good news. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It's now open. Mm. Lord, let me get up. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, God, I can thank you. Just give God some glory right now. I just thank him for how he's helped me, oh, God. I just want to tell you, I, 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 if I could sing, I'd sing that song, I've had some good days. Woo. I've had some hills to climb. Hallelujah. But how many of you know that God... <laughs> He was in the hills, and he was in me when I was climbing the hills. Oh, God, he knew just how much that I could bear. And when I couldn't bear no more, he just carried me. Like that poem of the the feet footprints in the sand. You know, I look back over my life, and I just wonder sometimes how I got over. Yeah. How did I get over? You know, because even from the time I was a child, and, you know, I, I reflect back now, I, and I look back and I see how God, even as a child, how out of 10 children my mom and dad had, out of all 10 of them, I'm the one, the different one. Amen. You know, even now that, you know, they talk about uh, uh, how different I am. And my daddy used to worry about me because I was different from the rest of them. And, you know, when, it, when I heard that, you know, I kind of, I kind of, you know, I was picked on even from my siblings, and, and I felt like I didn't fit in there. And when I was in teenage school, in elementary school, and, and middle school, and intermediate school, I didn't fit in there. And, you know, I was just different everywhere I went. Mm -hmm. And I used to apologize for it. You know, people would say, well, you, you know, you, you just kind of get loud sometimes. And I say, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, every time I turn around, I was even now sometimes, you know, I have to say, I'm, I feel like people, are, I'm sorry, but you know, I'm not sorry. Because if they knew what I'd have been through, Woo! they would shout too. <laughs> Praise God. You know, because uh, even now, uh, about three years ago, four years ago almost now, uh, my niece graduated from law school and, and uh, from uh, up yonder, uh, uh, up yonder where the uh, folks who got money kids go, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I got to tell you, I was there, and I took a young lady in 2003. Yeah. She wanted to go to Howard University. Didn't know nothing about Howard University. I, I wanted to show up his knife in the drawer when it came to me. Now, all my siblings, they love to read, and my mom and dad love to read, but I like, I like to be read, too, you know, and uh, I, I made my own stories up, in, you know. And so anyway, um, I took a young lady to Howard University, and, while I was there, her mom, she was, her mom was a single parent of three girls, and she was the oldest, Michelle. And so anyway, I told Michelle, I said, Michelle, if you want to go, I'll drive you. And I left my children at home, all five of them, to take Michelle to, to Howard University. I drove all the way up there, and I get up there, and they go on that tour, that college tour thing. And so anyway, I, this man, this big old black limousine pulled up, and and uh, people, they just take them kids, young folks, taking out their cameras. And I'm looking, I'm like, oh. And this man, he gets out, a chauffeur, and opens up the back door of the car. And this black man steps out, and he does this. And I'm like, okay, who is he? And so anyway, he walks up to the door, and he gets his daughter and takes her back to the car. And the chauffeur driver opens up the door, and, you know, and the dad ushers her in. And the dad goes around the other side, and the chauffeur driver opens up that door, and and I didn't know who he was. And after they left, people were just taking pictures. And I'm like, I went up to one of the young sons. I said, baby, who is that? Oh, that's Al Sharpton. I said, who? Oh, that's Al Sharpton. You don't know who Al Sharpton is? I said, well, baby, he ain't Jesus. Thank you know, he's just another man. But they got all excited about who Al Sharpton taking pictures. And, you know, I didn't even know who he was. You know, I'm like, you know, he must be somebody important. They, they taking all these pictures and you know, and he got a chauffeur driver, but I got a chauffeur driver too, and his name is Jesus. <laughs> you know, whenever I step up in there, they I got Jesus right here and all around me and all off in me. And, yes. You know, I ain't got to have no chauffeur to open up the door. I can open up my own door, sister. Yes. You know, I mean, come on now. 
I ain't got to have all that. Yeah. Sometimes we forget. We get beside ourselves with our riches. But, you know, I ain't jealous of nothing, but all I can say is enjoy that. Amen. Oh, but I can say, oh, taste and see that he is good. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good, and that's where I get my strength. God bless you. That's where I get my strength. That's where I get my being. I don't need any accolades from man to feel important because God, with him, I am somebody. Amen. And, you know, even now, I, 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 I'm going to go back to my family. Even now, you know, I, I know I'm different. You know, and I figured it out. It didn't take me long to figure it out because I was the only one walking and talking with Jesus and the rest of them out there playing wouldn't let me play. You know, and I said, well, I guess I had Jesus back then and didn't even know it, you know. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I just thank God for how he covers me. You know, even as I travel to work and from work, and I mean, I'm all over the place. You know, sometimes I drive eight hours one way to work. But wherever God has for me to go, that's my goal and that's my mission. Whoever he has for me to see, that's my goal and that's my mission. I must say, whatever he has for me to do, I got to be busy about my father's business. Amen. So coming up here, this is a small thing for me. Because all the way up here, I done praise God and glorify <laughs> God and driving, just, just driving. I, I know I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere to get refreshed and refueled. And I just thank God for the invitation and, and all that. And I just thank God just for being here and meeting y'all in person for the first time, <laughs> praise God. I just thank him. And I've been telling people uh, about you guys. And, and I tell you, I was telling a sister this morning, after I remember, after the Lord reminded me of tonight was the night, I said, I told my sister this evening, my sister in Christ, I said, girl, I said, I thank God that I looked at the calendar on my phone and that day had a dot on it. Mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I told her, I said, well, I was planning. I thought, well, maybe I'll take in a football game tonight since it ain't too cold. But when I saw that I had an appointment tonight, I said, well, the football game is out. I ain't going to sit in nobody's bleachers and holler for nobody because I'm going to holler for Jesus tonight. Glory to God. And I just thank him. I thank him for his grace and I thank him for his mercy. And I just want to say, keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on doing <laughs> All right. <laughs> and if anybody else have a testimony they'd like to share, amen. We thank you so much, Sister Claire. Yes, yes. Yes. Amen.